Hi everybody, Paul here again. Right now I'm holding the original submersible pump that was down inside my well. After 24 years, it finally failed and had to be replaced. After the submersible pump was replaced, the well was flushed right here at the wellhead until clear water was coming out and only then did we start using water again in the house. So everything should be back to normal, right? Well, unfortunately it was not and that's why I'm doing this video. Let me show you what happened next. The first thing we started using water for was the washing machine. My wife started filling the washing machine with water and everything was fine until about a minute later when all of a sudden the washing machine stopped filling with water. Next, my daughter said there was hardly any water coming out of the kitchen faucet. So needless to say, I had no idea why we had no water. So after I inspected a lot of different things, I finally found the problem. I removed this water filter housing to inspect the main water filter, which I had just replaced at the same time the submersible pump was replaced. Let me show you what I found. So after just one minute of filling the washing machine with water, a brand new water filter went from looking like this to looking like this. I gotta tell you, I couldn't believe what my eyes were seeing. The filter got plugged up with so much sediment and debris that it actually stopped the flow of water in my house. I also could not believe how much sediment and debris was in the filter housing. So what I did to fix it was I kept replacing the water filter. Over a period of two weeks, I think I replaced it seven times until there was no more sediment or debris. I also cleaned the water filter housing each time. So just be aware that if you replace a submersible pump on your well, it's more than likely going to stir up a lot of sediment and debris, which is going to plug up your water filter and restrict the flow of water. I also want to mention that if you do not have a water filter system on your well, then I would strongly suggest that you install one to prevent sediment and debris from getting into your water softener and fixtures during normal use. I like this particular water filter system because it makes it really easy to change the filter. I purchased it on eBay and I'll post the make and model in the description. If you'd like to learn more about how it works, then click on the video in the top right hand corner. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you, and have a great day. Bye for now. Okay, Sparky, wait. <laughs>